Well, hello there. We are here to farm some toroids today. Specifically, we're going to get the three that you are going to craft with. Red, yellow, green. They're going to flash up on the screen. They'll be up on screen right now after I've edited this. In any case, many episodes ago, we picked up a Warframe called Hydroid. And this is the guy we are going to be using today. You could use other farming frames such as Necros or Korra to increase your drop chances. But I find Hydroid in a solo circumstance is just a little bit nicer to use. So that's what we're going with. To make this work, you will need to acquire Pilfering Swarm. This is a syndicate mod. So if you can't get this from your syndicate, you may have to go into trade chat and just offer to swap some mods of your standing for someone else's. And generally speaking, someone will do it. Every time I've asked in my clan's alliance chat, it's always gone pretty well. So just use whatever channels you have to your advantage and shouldn't be too difficult to get. This game is a social game and so it is something that we're just going to have to do. With that equipped then, obviously my build was up just there. I haven't even got one former on this. But we're looking at power strength and duration. In fact, duration more than anything because realistically all we care about is tentacles grabbing hold of stuff so that they get 100% extra drop chance so that we can get more toroids. That is all we are after. And just looking at the, the build here, we can even stand to have a little bit less range because that is going to mean that the tentacles will be a little bit easier to control provided it still operates the same way that I remember it doing it. Other than that, bring everything else that you would normally bring. I'm going to recommend that you bring anything that you want to level. So, you know what? I'm going to reset my void rig so that we can continue leveling this. Obviously, provided you aren't compromising your main damage like your main weapon and hydroid, bring along something that you need to level because this is going to be boring and you really, really, really want to be getting the most out of this. So make sure that you have lenses on so you are gaining focus for this. That's how we're going. We are going to be leaving now. Unless you already have a squad, before we go in, I highly recommend switching to friends only or invite only. This is so that we don't get mixed up with anybody else's tasks that they might be doing around there. We really don't want to get interfered with. In addition, consider using boosters. This is my least favorite grind in the game. So anything that makes this easier, I'm going to recommend it. And it is worth knowing that drop chance boosters work I don't think the resource booster works itself, so I highly recommend having something like this on. If you don't want to spend platinum on it to have like a couple of days worth of just extra drops, you can go into a relay. People that are master rank 30 or over can bless you with a resource drop chance for three hours. So just go there and ask, tell them you're after toroids. They will probably take pity on you because I don't think anybody likes this grind. In addition, if you have any friends you can bring along, do it because that is going to increase enemy spawn rates, which is going to be direct directly influential on the amount of toroids that we can farm. All right then, there are three colored toroids that we're going to be looking at. We have green ones, and they're down in the spaceport you can see here. We have red ones, they're in the enrichment labs. And we have yellow ones in the Temple of Profit. Feel free to mark these yourselves. We went over lock pins in the last video. That way, you will never forget and you won't have to come and watch my video again. Which is sad for me, but good for you. So, decide which type it is that you need. I'm going to go with base port for green torrents because I don't have any right now. Just in case you guys don't know this, you can just fast travel there. Save yourself a little bit of time. And once we're here, we want to cause a bit of trouble. Now, just bear in mind, if we kill stuff too quickly and they don't get to place these down, that is going to slow you down tremendously. We need to get these dropping so that that our wanted level, you can see up in the top left, starts building up. We've got to be careful because if we move too far away, they'll actually turn themselves off and the pet can also attack it. So you may want to take off your attack mods from your pet. Obviously, I'm bringing the smeter here so we can get extra and better drops. But we've basically got to go around and try not to like annihilate too many of the enemies before that gets built up, particularly the crewmen because they're the ones that drop it. If you see mowers, they can go straight down. That's not an issue. Just get as much of this aggroed as we can because we don't want it to take too long. All right, we're finally getting it built up now. So just keep on trying to fight. Spare the crewmen. Those are the ones that are going to put the put the masts down, the beacons down, so that we can keep on getting more enemies coming in. There we have it. Eventually, we should make it to rank four. Now, do your best not to destroy any of these. We also don't want to get too far away so that can cause them to start disappearing. And now when it comes to facing enemies, we want to be dropping down the tentacles before we damage them. And that's going to allow us to begin properly farming up the toroids. 
Just try and keep it upon four, and that's going to let you keep on fighting the enemies. So we'll skip forward 20 minutes. Come on, what time is it now? You guys can't see the time. 13 minutes past 11. We're going to skip forward 20 minutes. We will see how many toroids we end up on. Okay, I'll try and use the tentacles as much as I can. I think that when I'm at this point, maybe Necros is easier to use. The hydroid works too. After approximately 20 minutes of grinding there, I'm sorry this is going to look a little bit weird because... Tried to record on the way out and it just seemed to fail. So if we if we allocate like say five minutes of this to the setup and a couple of minutes of me just faffing around getting back out again, around 20 minutes got us 14 Vega toroids. So when we come over and speak to little duck over here, when it comes to trading toroids for standing, you're gonna be left with that very disappointing feeling that it's only a thousand standing each. So I very much do not recommend turning these in for standing at all if you can help it. As you can see, I've been doing this quite quite a bit trying to find a decent spot and just a method for you guys but this is ultimately how farming them directly works i feel like it's definitely worth pointing out that i prefer getting them from the bounties i know someone's gonna say well it's slower to get the toros that way for sure but we only really need them for crafting items we're not going to turn them in for standing and at least then you're also getting the gyro mag the atmo systems and the repeller systems all of which are required for the items anyway because the main things you're going to be purchasing from here later on is going to be things Things like Baruch, Hildren's Blueprint, the parts actually drop from one of the bosses we're going to be doing a guide on, and the amp parts, which are going to be important when we start looking at building a proper amp for ourselves. So this is realistically what we are keeping these toroids stocked up for. And as you can see, to get these parts, it's only three each, and I think she only actually has three parts. So if you've got nine of each in stock at the end, you've got enough toroids, ultimately speaking, or what it is we're going to be doing, plus Baruch's parts. If you've got 15 of each toroid realistically for now we have enough we don't need any more than that for our purposes next up we're going to be taking on profit taker and the exploiter orb so far I feel like at our stage, we are best off doing this in public and gaining help from people. I'm going to see if I can pull a person in to help me with the guide for that. Because trying to contain every element on yourself at the same time can be pretty difficult. Anyways, I hope that's helped you out. I hope you can get the toroids that you need for your crafting. And I'll see you all in the next video.